This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Good day, everyone. It's the day of the big burrito cheat day challenge. So I'm about to have just some oatmeal to get started because I'm really hungry. Had some coffee, black coffee, marble shirt on. Let's go. So we got the Think Thin. I've never had these before. Protein and fiber hot oatmeal. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? Can we get more chips, please? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Alright guys, it's awfully dark, dark in here, but we're about to do the super burrito. I wonder if there's a better lighting. But, uh... Oh, he does for you? <laughs> you alright? <laughs> Burrito stats, nine pounds, so more than a newborn baby. Competition rules, one, I get one glass of water, so no refills. Two, I can't use the bathroom. Three, I get an hour to complete it. So the limit for the burrito is an hour? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so we got an hour. <laughs> All right, guys, and welcome to part two of the Michigan Cheat Day. We are taking on the nine pound burrito. <laughs> Do you ever have apple crumb or apple fritter? Or, I don't know. Now, it's a little harder, I noticed too, when I travel to eat um, a mass quantity of food, just because, again, I'm not drinking nearly as much water because I'm not working out as hard. Um, and again, no excuses though, but, um, and again, it's not the same foods I mean on the other days. I'm constantly eating bad when I was traveling, um, for this trip at least. I thought you'd eat faster. <laughs> <laughs> The burrito was actually good, guys. It was uh, beans, rice, it had onions on it, which drove me nuts. And then it, oh my gosh, that was the worst part of it all, though. Cheese all over there. Oh, yeah, pretty much everything looked like that giant burrito. Every meal. Because everything had cheese. <laughs> you get your choice of meat, and I forget what the other choices were, but I got shredded chicken and. Uh, yeah, I was tearing a dent through this. I think it took me like 10 minutes and then I was like nearly halfway there, at least three quarters club at most there through. And uh, it was a lot of food, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. I, <laughs> I kind of wish I would have asked for sour cream, but I was only limited on a few things. I could only have one glass of water, couldn't use the bathroom, things like that. You ever sit there and think about that? What the air you're breathing? It could have been like someone's ass or something. It's going to be on the video. <laughs> I'll be a commentator. <laughs> the air you're breathing right now. <laughs> but someone's flagellant. <laughs> So I gradually sipped on the water because again I couldn't get more than one glass, but the it was really hot. The burrito they brought it out steaming hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's a plate underneath it. <laughs> no. There's like a. I think there's a. Oh, I it's more. <laughs> Now, with these massive food challenges, I'm not the best at it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not good at doing a massive quantity of food at one time. I'm more good for duration. Like, I go for 10, 20,000 calories. Um, just a heads up, when I get done with this competition, I'm going to be doing a 30,000 calorie challenge. Bye, Mo. Yeah. Holy shit, you put a huge dent in that. How long has it been? Eight minutes. What? Yeah. 
<laughs> still got 52 minutes. I can sit back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst thing you do is take a break. I know. It just builds. Once I hit 20, I'll be hurting. The first time I ever went to an all-you-can-eat buffet. So yeah, I threw a poll on the last video and a lot of you guys did not care for, to see me do a physique competition, which I don't mind. I'm actually, there's a lot of holidays like the 4th of July and things like that coming up that I really want to do big challenges for. So I'm excited. <laughs> My back would hurt at work, so I bought one of the back stretcher things that you rotate. Oh, I know, yeah. What the hell is it called? Internal? In I gotta see. I I'm actually shocked you got that part. So some other stuff I did not film before actually going to get the burrito at Pancho Villa's was we went to my grandma's and I had some of uh, Little Caesar's pizza. We got a Little Caesar's pizza and then uh, I had the oatmeal that morning. So I did not go into this fasted. Um, I wish I kind of would have drank a lot more water leading up the few days in advance. Usually I'll try to drink two gallons every day. I was not getting even close to that, you know, being in Michigan. I thought you had to do it within 20, otherwise you feel full. I know. Or is that, or is that a myth? It <laughs> depends on how your stomach is. Like, I've done challenges where I took 30 minutes and I finished it. Really? Yeah. Because the whole thing is like water value. How much water I can put in my... Also, the largest quantity of food I've ever tried to consume at one time. I've done this before. I think it was eight pounds before. Then they turned it into a challenge. They made it a little bit bigger than before. And, uh, yeah, I've never had them ask me, do you want to do the challenge version of it? Even though it was my only second time, but I've never even heard they had a challenge of it. I need you to eat in front of me all the time so I don't <laughs> eat more. <laughs> Can eat like this all the time? I just want to go to bed after eating all that. Some number do. It's like, like some Rocky music or something going on. Yeah. <laughs> you want to play it on my phone? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's, I'm almost there though. I can like, yeah. You're the best. So coming up soon also after the competition, again, I'm trying to ease myself into it, guys. Um, but uh, I'm going to be doing a three, I think three or four pound burger in Texas if you get it, you get it all for free. I don't think that should be too much of a problem considering I've eaten at most seven, eight, nine pounds of food close to at um, time. So three to four should not be bad. So another challenge that I'm actually like have in mind is actually doing like a 10,000 calorie sour candy challenge. I think that would be cool. I've seen somebody comment that before on a video in the comments. I've never seen it done either before. So. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or maybe like a 10,000 calorie sugar free gummy. No, I'm just kidding. Totally about that. That's totally a joke. Don't take that serious. But, uh, Got a lot more commentary, guys. Sorry for this uh, meal I failed. Chicken Alfredo. Yeah, chicken Alfredo. All right. How many boxes? I don't think I'm gonna get one. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Really like a chipotle. Get my All right, guys. We got Lou over here. Just doing some editing. Let it go eat breakfast. Hey, still need a little time? Did you know what you're having? Seventeen shots, no thirty. Yeah, she's fine. Wondering where she be mine. Walk past, I press rewind. I got this soda. I've never seen like a Rams one, like in Texas. I don't think they are. It's so, like a uh, live photo with the big boys. So yeah guys, when I fail a challenge, I really take it down. You know, I feel like, man, I let everybody down that's watching, but I had a good time. I didn't get to prepare as much as I would at home. This is bacon. Wait, wait, bacon. Not real. 
But moving on, I still hope you guys enjoyed watching that meal. We had these banana split pancakes, which were out of this world. They were really good. Um, Ram's Horn, there's none in Texas here. All right, guys, so I just got back from the gym. So I'm about to have a protein shake, and because I have to get more food in for you guys, I'm about to have a donut and a protein shake. So it's called Balance. That is it. Ooh, this guy this smells not good. Peanut butter and vanilla. Doesn't taste all that great either. Oh, baby, baby. Some Tim Bits from yeah. Kayla. You complain, and then you say you can have them. So, like I said, guys, we got some balance. We got this 51 protein. I probably spent a lot of money in just protein here, but. We got the Nutter Butter Donut. Who remembers those? Mmm, mmm, mmm. So we have those pancakes this morning. Donuts right now. Tim Bits from the great Tim Hortons. Mm. That's too long. All right, guys, so right now we're about to head over to my aunt's house, and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. But yeah, we're about to head there. They're gonna have chicken shack. That's not in Texas, so I'll show you guys the food. Most of our family is gonna be on my mom's side, is gonna be there, so um, yeah. I'm using the gimbal with my iPhone today. I want to start to get more used to using the gimbal. So, all right. Love you. Love, Love you. you. Have fun. Text me when you're ready. Get out, girl. Do that. I opened it for you. You can't leave him a mess. You have to clean up after yes. yourself. You know that. He's getting mad. Bye, buddy. I've been on a clean. You need to come in here. Buddy, come here. You hear that, oh? You need buddy? Yeah, I'm ready. Hello. 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 I'm trying to visit with everybody. She's an only child. I was only child. Annabelle. Five years. <laughs> Wanna sit here? <laughs> we basically had two I basically had two brothers. Visit with I the people. boys at the house. I was. Okay. It was like okay. Okay. every other I weekend. Mean, it was like every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Some, actually, uh, yeah, I think there was one summer where I was like yeah. probably you over like, your <laughs> guys' house rather than anything. Here you go. And then you would jump on the car, so. Uh -huh. it's not fun. Oh, Please, don't die. Die. Heart attack. Hell, this is hard. She's on the ground. She gotta get up. <laughs> Your little toes. Like me. This one has. I believe I can fly. Oh. You had it, but no, you just dress like dressing. What? Just got back from checkers. Time to show you what Checkers is, if you don't know what it is. Alright, so some of the best fries out there. Checkers.
no one. Diet Coke. Honestly, one of my favorite fast food places when I used to live in Michigan was Checkers. I went there actually a lot when I was little too. Did she gain weight by junior year? Oh, she is here? Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we pretty much kicked it for the night, had some Checkers. I think we watched a movie this night too, so it was a good day overall. Alright guys, so we're about to have breakfast. Today is Monday. We got oatmeal, egg McMuffin, egg sausage McMuffin, and a hash brown. And some good old coffee. And then we're gonna go see Deadpool too. So we're gonna start off with the hash brown. Just needs ketchup, but there's no ketchup. And our oatmeal is the last thing. I had a spoon, but I lost it. McDonald's oatmeal, bomb.com. You guys are probably laughing because you're like, why do you go traveling and you're still trying to eat kind of healthy? <laughs> Just the way I am. Alright guys, so we literally just had that Mickey D's and then we got our cinnamon roll. So this is a giant cinnamon roll we got in downtown Detroit. It's still kind of cold. I threw it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Not bad. Now let me tell you, this cinnamon roll looked a billion times better than what it actually tasted by the time I had it. <laughs> but it seems a little harder than what I expected. The cake though that you guys will see me eat later in the video was really actually good though. Probably gonna be the best part. Oh yes, I see. All right, my friends, we're done with meal number one. We only had to make that one. It's a cinnamon roll. About to go to the movies. Gonna drink on this coffee. <laughs> All right, guys, got my, I don't know how much this weighed, birthday cake, caramel macchiato. <laughs> <laughs> and you're shaking. Maybe I shouldn't have had gummy worms. I was already hard. Bad. Yeah, the gummy worms hard as a rock now. I didn't even get my point. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so today's our last day here in Michigan, so we got a lot of food to eat. We're actually gonna get I'm having tubbies, but I'm gonna have some pizza, got some sweets and donuts, I have that too. Alright guys, 
Alright, so we got our chocolate, I think it's called Torti Cake. Torti. So like I said, summer shredding after this. Too much, too much sweets this week. Look at that. It's like a, got a hard chocolate top. We got this at one of the bakeries by the game. Not that sweet. So it's fairly good. Alright guys, we're immediately after, we're going into some Domino's Pizza. Domino's here is pretty good. I gotta start getting this thin stuff more. Let's go. This little cheesy, garlicky things, they smell horrible. But they're delicious. Alright guys, here it is, my absolute favorite place in Michigan, Tubby's Submarines. It is so Man. good. 17 shots, no 30. You should give you a, you should give you a napkin with your sub. I ain't gonna get that. You <laughs> <laughs> budget cut. I know I don't even eat subs often, but this is the best place for Philly cheesesteaks. He was just a carbon. Now, if you're from Philadelphia, you guys probably are going to say you have the best Philly cheesesteak, which I haven't been there, so I can't judge. But Tubby's is the best in Michigan that I've had personally. They got their cottage fries. fries. They actually cut their. <laughs> I'm for the new fries. Is that green or green lantern right? Yeah. Orange heart? Great. All right, Tubbies. It's the same range. I'm gonna say both about the same. Yeah. I ate both my desserts today. You take in the cinnamon roll. Really? Oh, wow. How many donuts did we? Eat? I I just have one. <laughs> I just have one. Oh my god. I still haven't had a regular old friggin' one. I probably had six. <laughs> <laughs> they are good. Yeah, I haven't had it so friggin' long. Ba boom, ba bang. Alright guys, so this is pretty much the end of this video. I'm just going to be recording my voiceover for my workout right when I got back into Texas. I went to, because I work at 24 Fitness, um, I'm a trainer there, and then I have another membership at this warehouse gym, which I love. They allow me to film. It's not too packed. Um, in the summer, you break. I mean, in the summer here in Texas, it can get into the 90s, 100s easily in the summer so when you're in here you are sweating just walking in the gym i mean driving to the gym you're sweating um but yeah we got 225 on the bar right now we are doing our squats we are getting close guys i think there's roughly to, after tomorrow i literally have three weeks left to go until the competition so it's on june 30th um it's going to be at an expo so i'm very excited for this, this was my second meet 
I'm a lot stronger than I was last time. I mean, not like a lot crazy, but as far as from going from like 1150 total to close to a 1250, maybe 1300, that's putting 100 pounds um, onto my totals altogether close to within less than a year. My last competition was in October. Um, so yeah, I, my squats, I'm actually, it's crazy how much little movements, like the first time I did my competition prep, I didn't even nearly focus on the same things I'm focusing on now. Now I'm focusing on cable rows to keep my back tight when I'm doing low bar. Um, I'm actually understanding which exercises are working together to get me stronger as far as accessories and then how those accessories are going to help me with my compounds. So, you know, like this is 320 pounds and it felt really good. I think it was 325, um, but it felt really good. I'm going for only sets of three as far as like RPE. Um, rate of perceived exp I forget the last the E um, but it's how tough it is pretty much how tough is the weight to me on a 1 through 10 scale um, it's about roughly a 5 like this 325 was not bad I had another recording of my other workout where I did 365 for 3 and that's a PR for me as far as volume um, and it didn't even feel that bad like I don't you know my numbers going in are hopefully 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 for my squat I want to get a 425 um, for my deadlift a 515 would be wonderful I'll be happy with a 510 too um, and then bench I would love to hit 300 so and I've hit you know in the gym right now I, I don't max out really leading into the competition I, it's kind of like hey you're building you're working off your volumes you know sets and reps and intensity you're going off that kind of stuff but we, uh, I've been doing uh, more hammer curls again, guys, just to work for my grip for when I do my deadlifts. My grip on my deadlifts has actually gone in a little bit, um, but I'm still using a lot more of my upper back, my lats. Uh, what else did I do? So my hips were bothering me when I was doing sumo deadlifting. So if you guys ever get that problem, try not to sit back like almost like in a squat position before you deadlift because it puts a lot of load on your hips. Try to sit more upright with your chest, almost like a barbell row, like to where you're flat over the bar. So I've noticed that it's helped me a lot. My hips aren't as bad. Um, for cardio, guys, I'm just pretty much doing Stairmaster or basketball, shooting around, playing two-on-two. -two. I mean, playing basketball, like for me, I don't think about running, how I'm running around the court or if I'm tired. But... Yeah, guys, as you guys can see, I'm really breaking a sweat in this gym. I love this gym. It reminds me a lot of Elf Elite when I went there at the old original one, um, which I haven't gone to the new one yet. I haven't had time to go to the new one at all. Um, I would like to pretty soon. I would like to go check out. A, I love going to new gyms and just seeing all the new equipment or just a different atmosphere. If you guys are like that, too, where you're at your gym for so long and they're like, I need a break from this gym. Um, I'm using a little bit too much momentum on these hammer curls but I like to pause at the top and then go slow on the way down so and I think these were either 40 or 45 but you know I've been kind of cutting back as far as my weight I think I did 35 the other day and I was doing nice and slow 10 reps just trying to build up my you know my strength here's some clips of just my current physique right after the trip you guys were asking me um, for more physique kind of cuts how I'm looking um, Definitely not at Melinas. I think I'm roughly, I have to be around 12, 12%, you know, maybe 10 to 12, but probably more time towards 12. Um, this video, not that it's old, but recently I have been cutting down a little more. My weight is roughly 182 to 183 pounds right now, so I'm good for my weight class. Um, and as far as how tall am I, I'm about five foot ten. So a lot of you guys asked that before. Um, then we went on and we worked our hamstrings. This is actually a new machine at this gym. This gym literally re they redid a lot of the stuff. They edited in a lot of stuff. It's a really nice gym. If you're ever you know around in Texas, just let me know. This gym is awesome. I love it. Um, not crowded, like I said. Music. They play music. It's a warehouse. I love the warehouse gyms. Um, you know it's. It's pretty nice, honestly, in my opinion. But I'm about to conclude out this commentary, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the Michigan trip. I broke it up into two parts, but it's two long videos. Thank you guys for watching the whole thing. If you're sticking through to the end, make sure to hit that thumbs up if you guys really enjoyed it. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date on new videos. Competitions coming up soon, guys. Then a lot new content. 
for you guys coming out. So thank you guys so much for your support. Appreciate the love. Have a great day. And thank you again for watching.